Hi y'all, it's Katerina with True Joy Experience, here to chat a little bit about what to do when you're feeling out of alignment, when you're working towards something and it starts to not feel right, when you start to complain and when you're starting to feel defeated and tired and feeling like you're you're paddling against the current, you're working so hard to see progress in your life, to make things move forward, and you're basically plateaued or at a standstill. So what are the ways that you can overcome that and start to get yourself back into alignment, start to start living your truth, doing more of what you wanna be doing, what you should be doing, what you're called to be doing, um, how to reconcile the situation that you're in. Um, And this all comes from an experience I had this week where I literally had to press pause on my life. I had to take a break. No thinking, no acting, just sitting still and allowing the inspiration, allowing uh, my body to take a break, my mind to take a break, um, and then assessing where I need to go next. So as I mentioned before, the ways to know that you're out of alignment are when you start to gossip and complain a lot. When you're when you're complaining, when you're feeling unhappy, when all you want to do is stay in that negative space, that means something is out of alignment. That means you are not exactly happy with the way things are going. Um, you are... Um, something's not working in your life in that area that you're complaining. Another way is like I just said, you're paddling uphill um, or paddling against the current and you're not going anywhere and you're trying and you're trying and you're trying and trying everything, but you're not seeing any progress. Now it's not that you're not seeing, if you're seeing baby steps, that's a different story, but when you're not seeing the progress you're hoping for and it's making you feel defeated, that's a clear sign that something's kind of not right. Um, And it means that you need to take a step back. And I will say the best way when you're feeling like your relationships aren't going great, your business isn't where you want it to be, um, your career's not, not, you know, uh, going off the way you want it to be, you need to press the pause button. And we're so afraid to stop. We're so afraid to, to, to take a break because we're we fear that if we take a break that we're not going to progress or or we're not we're going to lose momentum or everything's going to fall apart but actually taking a break and pressing stop allows your body and your mind to recover because when you're go 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 and you're pushing and you're fighting your way through life you don't have that time to reflect on is this even what i want Um, And that happened to me this week in my business. I needed to take the break because I was doing things that other people were doing and what I thought I should be doing, but in the end weren't what I wanted to be doing. And I was suppressing and ignoring and not paying attention to what I really truly wanted to be doing and what was coming from my heart center. So another way to counter the unalignment um, is after you've taken that break it's time to meditate and to pray this is the time that you need to be like okay i give it all to god to the universe and i'm saying i don't know what to do next and i need help and that's when you want to be still you want to be quiet you want to Turn off your brain for a bit and turn it over to your faith, to your inner guide, to your heart, and ask those powerful questions. Where are you denying um, yourself? Where are you saying, uh, yeah, yeah, I really want to do this, but you're not listening to that voice that says you don't want to be doing it. Um, where are you not being truthful with yourself that you don't want to be in a certain situation? You don't want to do it a certain way. Um, that you that there's something else you want to be doing, but you have a fear of doing that. This is when you need to be honest. You need to listen. This is when you stop working and you let the universe take over and your inner guide and your soul take over and you reconnect to what you're truly supposed to be doing and the path you're supposed to take. 
The other way is self care. When we are so enmeshed in the unhappiness, the the what's going wrong, we're in our heads. We are we're just stuck there and it's time to get out of your head. It's a you got to eat the right foods, you got to stay healthy. You have to start to diminish or, or um decrease the the intake of foods that are affecting your mood like sugar and caffeine and gluten they all affect your mood so start to limit your consumption of those and start to increase the healthy foods the vitamins the minerals and the water water gives you energy and clarity if your brain's foggy if you're stuck and you're frustrated start to intake water your body needs that water your cells need that water and you'll start to feel like you can think again you can hear again you can listen you can tap in again to your intuition the other way is exercise and I did that this week I actually amped up my exercise to six days a week because I didn't feel confident when you're defeated and you're you're not seeing progress and you know you start to lose your confidence a bit the way to get your confidence is to do the things that build it and making yourself feel strong, you know, doing some weights, uh, going for a jog, going for a power walk, not just a stroll, a power walk, something that challenges you this much, just this much. It could, you could challenge yourself a lot or you just needs this much where you are pushing yourself and you're proving to yourself that you are strong, you can endure and you can figure this out. When you build that confidence and you get that energy flowing and the chemicals going, you start to gain clarity. It also um, allows your brain a little bit of a rest. So you're energizing your brain, you're getting uh, the, ne the necessary nutrients to your brain, uh, the oxygen to your brain. Um, you can then see more clearly. Um, it's also a great time after you've worked out to meditate. So you do that, that intense workout or that power walk and you come and you stop and you allow everything to just flow and settle um, and you'll gain more clarity. So those are the key ways to counter feeling just like you're, you're not in the right place. Something's not going right. It means you're just kind of veered off path a bit and you just need to find the truth on where you're supposed to be. And the best way to do that is to connect to your inner inner guide, um, connect to your faith, connect to your God, your the universe. Um, and the way you do that you, means you have to stop. You can't do it while you're still trying, 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 trying. You're not gonna hear um, the truth on what you really wanna be doing. So that's my tidbit for this uh this week. Um, I hope that helps. If you are feeling a little uh, frustrated, those are some tips. Uh, use them and uh, see how you feel. I'm sure that you'll feel better. You'll get some clarity and you'll be on your way again. Um, I will talk to y'all soon. Bye.